Hey guys, this is Fresh Biker here. I'm just trying out the BMW F800 GT. I'm just north of York at the minute and I'm going to tell you my first impressions. So I've spent about half an hour on this bike and I must say, I'm really enjoying it. It takes some getting used to, uh, but the seating position is comfortable. There's plenty of download torque and power. Uh, it's a comfortable touring machine, but then also surprisingly nimble. The front brake works extremely well, they're Brembo's, so I wouldn't expect anything less. Back brake, nothing behind me, so I'll just have a quick test. Not much in the back brake, I must say, uh, lacking there. You've got a really clear display in front of you here. Analog, speedometer, analog, rev counter. The gear changes are slick and to be honest there's no need for the sixth gear that must just it's just a plodding gear if you're touring fantastic for your long sort of trips on the motorway comfortable mile crunching here i can say this machine is nimble it's 214 kilograms wet but I, you can throw it round corners it's definitely got a lot of pickup it's really easy to find yourself creeping over the legal limits on this. The seating position is comfortable. I'm sat upright. My knees are bent just under 90 degrees. My hands are in a comfortable position. I'm uh, five foot 10. I must say this is comfy for me. I could maybe adjust the bars with a riser ever so slightly. The screen's doing its job at the minute, keeping the weather off me. I mean it's a nice day here so it's just the wind. I am at slow speeds. I'll see how it works when we get onto some faster roads. A lot of people believe that it's 798cc engine sits in a sweet spot where miles per gallon and performance meet hand in hand. Overtaking's easy. Drop it down to second. So I'd like to say a quick thank you to Barry Robson's in York, Motor Rad dealer. Uh, thank you for letting me test ride this bike. Uh, if anybody is thinking of getting a BMW, they're a great place to go down to, just outside. Clifton Moor. They have a great selection of all new and used BMWs. Get yourself down there, get a test ride. If you want exciting touring, this is fantastic. The comfort is fantastic. The wind protection is not amazing, but it works in your slower speeds. It takes a lot of the wind off your chest. Hey guys, this is Fresh Baggy here. So today we're just going to have a quick look at the F800 GT. Uh, this is BMW's middleweight tourer sitting in at 214 kilograms that's wet and 46 kilograms lighter than their 1200 rt model this standard model will set you back about 8300 pounds but can easily be more it's unlikely as a bmw that you'll leave it as standard and you'll want your added extras such as electronic suspension and maybe a change of seat or touring screen. Other options are obviously available. Um, it has a 798cc two-cylinder inline engine, putting out a respectable 90 brake horsepower at around 8,000 RPM and roughly 64 foot-pounds of torque at 5,800 RPM. So you've got a good sweet spot around the five, well, 6,000 RPM to 8,000 RPM. that's perfect for touring. Has a top speed of over 125 miles per hour and reaches 60 in less than four seconds. Sorry guys, this road is extremely busy today. It's usually really quiet. The bike comes with BMW's Motorrad ABS as standard with twin 320 millimeter disc brakes at the front with four piston Brembo calipers and a single 
see if we can see this. 265 millimeter single piston caliper at the rear. That's that's Brembo as well. So you've got some decent brakes that give some good stopping power. Front shocks, 43 millimeters telescopic, and uh, as you look, come up here, the handlebars are made from BMWs. Conical aluminium pipe. This is made to reduce vibration through the handlebars. It has a six speed transmission, and unlike most motorbikes, it uses a belt drive. You can see that there. This gives it a smoother feel through the acceleration. Standard seat height comes in at 800 millimeters. The comfort seat lifting this to 820 millimeters and the lower seat coming at 765 millimeters. I can sit on this with my feet down at this standard seat. Tank capacity is small, is at the back here under the seat. Size is 15 litres of usable space with a 3 litre reserve. However, ridden smoothly, the F800 engine can, has been known to hit 80 miles per gallon and more. As a rough guide, you should be looking at 200 miles between fill-ups. Standard equipment includes windscreen, pillion footrests, front mud, mud guard, adjustable brake and clutch levers, clear multifunctional display and power socket. You've got your info buttons here, you can flick through some of your settings, miles per gallon, temperature, things like that. Then you've got your mode on here and this bike comes with road mode or rain mode. So guys, that's the walk around the F800 GT. I'm gonna jump back on the bike now and we're gonna go do some motorway miles and town ride and see what you think. Okay, so we're coming on to A64 now. This is maximum national speed limit. Plenty of grunts, so getting up to national speed limits, there's no issues there. Uh, I must say I'm sat at 70 now and I am extremely comfortable. The wind, there is a bit around my shoulder areas, but nothing fatiguing. I mean, this, this is the most comfortable bike I've been on. Realistically, if you're going to be touring any long miles on motorways, this is what you want to be riding. So, motorway riding, I can't fault this machine. One thing I do think, the wind protection wasn't fantastic on this on the motorway. It could do with a windscreen extender. I just had the missus on the back of the bike where I stopped for a bite. She's uh, she found that the back pillion seat was a lot comfier than mine. A lot more room, good grab handles and with the option of a top box you know she can get one with a backrest and feel real comfortable on the back of this bike. Nice car. And we get a bit better footage of the display in front of us. Like I say, BMW's aluminium conical design handlebars reduces vibration, analog and digital display, analog speedo, analog revometer, digital information panel gear indicator, fuel gauge. So there we have it guys, that's really the BMW F800 GT. I've had it out on the motorway, I've had it out on twisty roads in the middle of nowhere, I've had it in the centre of York. Uh, one thing I can say is this bike, it's, you know, it is a very good bike, it's all on its own really.